Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Frostbite's Gaming Experience. So we just got done taking care of the mother, and now we need to go and see about getting that wind map now. So, let's head on down, and oh, the whole entire party is just waiting here for us. Let's see what we got. I wondered how long it would be before you made your way down here. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but the air has changed considerably. Well, consider the fact that I'm actually not in the game, I can't tell if the air has changed or not. So that's good to hear. Thank you. While the earth shook, she explained what was happening on my lands. Your lands? As far as I know, they're her lands. Explained what happened in the inn. Nasty business, that. Glad you had the skills to deal with that. Mother, was it? Yeah, relatively easy to take out, you know, couldn't, again, the strongest thing in the game, if you really think about it, because we were unable to damage it. it it's invulnerable to every single thing you do. You just have to crush it. Oh, they had to be eliminated. Did. Imagine such horrors trapped under my own land. Can we get the wind map, please? Here is the wind map you wanted. The you gave me nothing. You just put your arms on. I put my arms out as well. Where, where's the wind map? Alrighty, so what are you gonna do? We'll stay on here for a while. These trees will need tending. So even though it's fixed, it's not really fixed. Besides, I think I have some old family business to catch up on. Old alliances to reforge, as it were. Hmm, interesting. Alrighty, um, I think it's time I left. Indeed, it is. You have my deepest gratitude. Because we've got more, we got a lot more stuff we got to do here on TN's Landing. Like, we're, we're literally like, I think, what, one third of the way done? That map will carry you safely if you can find a flyer with the range. Yeah, we got to do that. And we got to go take care of the dam. The whole entire reason as to why we got to do anything in the first place. So, let's actually go out of our way and look into that as best we can. So yeah, so from, like, generally with this game, there are multiple different paths you can take. You know, we went out of our way and took care of the inn and the mother and all that to get the wind map first, but you can choose to do that later. You can do the dam first, you can get the wind map first, or you can get um, the plane first. Whichever one that you actually choose to do is completely up to you. You know, you're allowed to do it in any order you so choose. I just like to do the end first because I feel it's like the easiest one to do personally. Because, again, taking care of the mother is all you got to do is destroy all of the pillars. That's really all you got to do. Nothing else. So once you take care of that, it's an easy boss fight. Easy experience. You try and do anything else and... It, it's relatively more difficult, not horrible, but a little bit more difficult, but we need to go all the way back here and leave so we can actually head towards the dam itself, but in doing so, got ourselves a little cutscene. From what you discussed with Fui, it would seem we are indeed tied to important events. I have concerns as well. Fui convinced me that your master is the glorious strategist. Tell me, Dawnstar, what are your earliest memories with him? Why are you asking her? You hitting on her or something? His favorite student. He was at the school three years before I was. Ah, uh, I was with him the longest. We'll focus on you quite a bit by the time we are done, given the spirit monk connection. But I asked Donstar what she remembers. Why do you care so much, dude? It's a little creepy. The only thing I know about my life before coming to the school is that I was not wanted, probably because of the bad omens I was born under. That's not good. Bad omens. What makes you think that? You said you don't know anything. Yeah, right? I don't know anything, but I do know about this. But you said you know nothing. It's one of the few details Master Lee was told. I was named for a red glow opposite the morning sun, like a distant, a distant fire. And then suddenly there was a fire. Yes, I guess so. I wasn't there, of course. No one but you survived. I guess someone saw it, but I don't know where Dirge is or how far the fire was visible. It fits the time, but that just confirms my thoughts about being born under a bad omen. So you were born around the time that a big fire happened, and so therefore you're bad luck. That's kind of an interesting way to think about it. Troubling thing you learn about your birth. Consider yourself lucky. Ain't wrong. Okay, so we can actually talk to just about everybody here because everybody's got a little bit of story they can go through. So let's actually stock, stock, start. Let's do henpeck. Let's see, is there anything that we can actually ask him here? 
Um, tell me about your life before you were captured. More than that, you can grow the most amazing stash in the world. Not the most amazing, but it's pretty. It's a pretty bitchin' stash. My wife ensures that I work very hard every day to become the best bun master in the Imperial City, perhaps the best in all the Empire. That's a good goal, I guess. Be great at something. One of the most respected fighters in the Empire before I met my precious bride. She made sure that I became something more, or less. That depends on one's viewpoint. Uh, why does she like you fighting? As I mentioned before, my style requires that I drink. That is true. She detests drinking, though there are things she detests even more, like talk of us separating. <laughs> my loving wife would knead me into several small dumplings and boil me in hot oil. She suspected I was even speaking to you about leaving her. It's quite the relationship. You should, you're very lucky. Bad, though. I may have lost all my dignity and self-respect, along with my ability to fight or even make a tight fist but I am a bun master of some renown it's something some of you probably I guess I'll speak with your wife I think it's about time you told your wife what you think I would sooner return to the cannibals and offer them what little flesh is left on my bones <laughs> let's not discuss such things if you don't mind I want to meet your wife I want to see what it is that has you so freaked out about it anyways um what about current situation we have our work cut out for us but as my darling wife likes to say, when things are tough, quit your whining and get to work. That sounds like work. I can almost hear her screaming at me now. If ever you find a cure for bad memories, please let me know. Hey, I hear drinking helps with that. But then again, you're not allowed to drink. Alrighty, and I think if you ask him again, he'll just say we'll talk later. Perhaps in a little while. Yep. Memories of my wife are difficult to bear. Alrighty, and that's it for now. As you wish. Alrighty, what about Donstar? How are we doing? The forest was a disturbing place. Such destruction. It was horrible, even if it was mostly unseen. If you could spare some time, could we talk about what we have seen? Well, I mean, they had the arrow over your head, so I guess now better than anything. Oh, let's see here. Anything bothering you? The was very troubling to me. To see such distance... I like how everybody is, like, listening. They're like, yes? I am still getting used what are you two quietly talking about? I have been sensitive to these things for as long as I can remember. I love the music, even on the most, like, depressing and deep, most powerful of uh, talks. The music just comes in at the best of times, or it's like, hey, it's still a fun little game. Uh, let's see here. Uh, sure. It's very gradual. The world just seems to be filling up with spirits that have no place to go. And I pretty much know why. The forest shadow is very disturbing. It makes me wonder how deep the trouble goes. And what mortals like us are supposed to do about it. Actually, do we even get that far in the game? I, I don't know. I think I think the what we're currently doing is going to explain the reasoning for all of it. Unless we just did with the the Shadow Fox, but I do not know. Anyways, um sure. Your appreciation is just what I was looking for, and I am grateful. I know we will do what we can. Be a nice guy and hit on somebody in the process. Win-win. I'm glad we can talk like this. It suits my mind. I hope we can continue another time. Right when there's a yellow marker over your head, I'm sure we will. All right, that'll be it. Um, Sagacious, you got anything, buddy? Is there something? You Since he doesn't have the arrow, I'm assuming no. Let's see here. Yeah, where are you and who are you talking about? yourself over. Very old business. I traveled this way when I was fleeing the Lotus Assassins. Basically, he's never going to tell us anything. Uh, let's see here. Oh, choosing to leave is easy enough. Surviving the choice is not. Is that a surprise given their nature? Yeah, not really. That was a really stupid question. Master Lee are more outlandish. I know way to be a truthful and honorable person. Much more so than I consider myself to be. Yeah, because you saw are hiding a lot from us, I believe. Belief alone is not enough. What if it is true? Much will have to change to accommodate this truth. Like what? It means the Emperor lied about Lee's death, and he may have assaulted the heavens. Wait, what? The I mean, yeah, he obviously lied about the death, but why would he lie about the death in the first place? Alrighty, far more influence than he should. Perhaps, but that too implies a weakness that the Emperor cannot have. I warn you. This will lead in a dangerous direction for you and Dawnstar. I mean, we just saw our own home burst into flames. How much more dangerous can it get? 
Come on now. Don't blame me when the whole world is against you. It already is against me. Are you kidding me? My whole home just got burnt to the ground. Yeah. You will need more than my help. Just try not to endanger your companions. They are not to blame for what your destiny mandates. Now, is there anything else? Like, this guy is just out to make sure that we are just the biggest dick in the world. Um, yeah, you seem agitated. I'm always agitated. It is because of my training. Fair enough. I thought that we were always being watched, always being stalked. In many cases, it is actually true. Yeah, you're probably not going to join me for anything, though. I got Black Whirlwind now. Similar feelings. When trained to be as vicious as the assassins, or when you are the protege of a famous master... You tend to attract unwelcome interest. I guess that's true. Like my whole entire place burning to the ground. Have I mentioned that yet? Like, oh yeah, the whole world is against me, but my village got burnt to the ground. I think I'm very much aware of this. Huh. Let's see. If anyone is drawn, why should be trusted? People should. Eh. Your best may not be enough. Jesus, man. Like, I understand the whole entire glass half full, glass half empty, when the real answer is, why are you using too big of a cup in the first place? Yeti, yeah, yeah, all that mythical talk. But this guy is like the epitome of, there's not even water in the glass. That will not always be the case. It is sometimes difficult. And I get it. You know, maybe through this guy's training and what he's been through, sure, there's a reason why he's such a pessimist. But good Lord, man. I'm a pessimist myself. But even I'm not going on my way to make other people feel shitty about themselves because I do. Brighten up. Smile a little. Good Lord. Alrighty. Um, so if we ask him about him, he'll probably say no. I've said enough for the time. Yep. Okay. Um, what do you think about our current situation? What else I can do for you right now? If I can help you, I will. But for... So, nothing else. What about questions about our enemy? The sure sign of an effective fighter is that he has many enemies. Which are you most curious about? See, you have a pretty decent smile, I guess. Don't care about that. Um, this is like the most interesting, really. Death's Hand looks at because he'll have the most knowledge about it. There is little to tell that would affect you now. The assassins are fanatically loyal to Death's Hand, and he uses that influence to do as he wishes. Okay. He also controls the Imperial Army, but they are no longer in his favor, it seems. Mere guards in comparison to the assassins. Well, yeah. Death's Hand was just beginning his rise to power when I left the Lotus Assassins. I do not know much more about him. Oh, well, I was hoping to get a little bit more out of that. I see, because we don't expect him to know much about Gao, the Emperor, all that. And we can figure out that. We can figure out all that as we go on. And we're going to go ahead, exit out, but we still need to talk to the Black Whirlwind. There he is. Come on, buddy. Let's talk about you now. What do you want? Because it wouldn't let us talk to him when we were in the camp, so we had to take him out of the camp. Um. So let's ask about before. I was born by my mother and sucked at her teeth like every man. Well, like every man does with his mother. Okay. Anyway, by the time I was old enough to swing an axe, my father was dead and my mother disowned me. Of course, killing my father might have given me a reason. What a free spirit, literally. I think she did it out of shame. My father beat me and my brother senseless and made our lives miserable. Oh, brother. Way, that was the end of my child. Okay, well that brings up a new question. What is this brother? Um, brave thing you did. Yeah, be really mad about it. But anyways, that was really brave. I wasn't brave. I was furious. And he was drunk. It was an easy fight. So obviously it didn't really do much for you. I traveled How come one of our questions wasn't, oh my god, you have a brother? Tough time, but not the worst. My axes and my wits kept me alive. Hey, same. Minus the axes. Um, let's see here. Must have been very difficult. But I soon learned just where to cut a man to make him squeal like a pig. I think if you give any seven-year-old an axe, they'll find out soon enough where to hit somebody with it. Uh, talk to him about your past, and he'll say no. Anyways, current situation, what do you think? Alright, he just wants to get out. That's it. Alrighty. So, sorry about all that time of talking, but sometimes it helps to, who are you and what is that? Now I've got even more questions that are left unanswered. 
But anyways, what? And now this again! Yeah, thanks, and you're also really good at interrupting me when I'm talking about something. But anyways, you know, again, it's kind of, it's not really important, but it's something that I always like to do is incorporate, you know, what, what everybody's kind of like thinking on the team, because it adds a little bit more to the story. And this is a game that is very heavily story-driven above all else. And we're going to have our parts where it's going to be more talking than action and more action than talking. And, you know, this part's going to be more talking than anything, because apparently this bitch has to know about something. Um, yeah, another ambush, you barely got out. But I rarely need to escape from anyone. But you I did! Step back, which allowed me to see that you are not my enemy. Oh my god, just give it up. I beat you, you and I'll beat you again. You ain't gonna win. I'm the one with the controller. Even if you beat me, I can come back and beat you. It ain't hard. Powerful forces are at work here. You are caught in great events that are beyond you. I literally just went to heaven! Like, can we discuss this for a second here? I literally went up to what was called heaven. Like, these people are making it seem like I'm just a freaking peon. I bet you've never been to heaven. Have you talked to a spirit fox before? Did you fight horse demons? They're really big dicks. Why should I trust you anyways? I never said we should trust each other. Then why are we even talking? What's the point of any of this? Ah! <coughs> I actually kind of got my throat a bit there with that. <coughs> It's still really cold outside. My throat's not exactly at 100%, so I gotta be a little bit careful with it. But but seriously, like, let, let, let's take a look into that. Our character literally went to heaven. We talked with a guy that was, like, a records keeper that had to make reports about all the stuff that we were doing to the point where he got fired and a whole bunch of other people got fired because of it. We went to, we went to frickin' heaven, and these people are treating us like we're just an ant. Like, we've, we've been so high up that buildings look like ants. Are you kidding me? Anyways, what are you even talking about? Why are you here? Do you do anything? Alright, yeah, he, he was my teacher. He must be more for Death's hand to keep him alive. Still, you've told me what I need to know. Yeah, like, what, what, what do you want? Like, why should I tell you anything? Why are you even here? the greater, a minion of Death's hand. The flyers that attacked your village came from that stronghold and returned there. So we'll probably end up going there. Because the we need a flyer. He may still be there, although I know that Death's Hand has already moved on. That's good. I'm taking care of the dam first. You you don't tell me what to do. Um uh help me defeat him. Yeah, because you know you can't fight. I did use to me! Bitch! <laughs> oh my god, all these people just making it seem like I, I can't do shit. If you actually reach the Imperial City, I will be impressed. Until then, I wish you luck. You will be impressed. You can't beat me, but you'll be impressed. Give me a fucking break. Yes, thank you. Get, get the fu Just get out! Oh my lord. Alright, so we gotta go this way. Because now we can actually open this and head on into the ruins. Oof, we got ourselves some rats. We already fought some earlier. Let's see what's different about these ones. The search goes too slowly. We need more eyes and hands in these ruins. All right, but what about other body parts? If it's just hands and eyes, it's only going to do so much for you. Well, starting a fire is not going to help anything. Listen well, my minions. Fan out and search behind every stone and under every rock. Somewhere in these ruins are gems. Very special gems. Yeah, you also said hands and eyes. You didn't say rats. You're just a big liar. I like how my guy's just kind of standing there like this is a thing. Like no one's looking to make sure they're not being heard. You're talking to rats, dude. Little rat demons. This is a weird place. You are in charge while I go up to the Great Dam to check on the Sentry Golems. If anyone tries to enter these ruins, kill them. Okay, you look just like the guy that I killed on the boat. Well, I didn't, but you look just like him, so, like, I'm pretty sure you're going to be just as weak to take out. Anyways, what's up, fellas? Ooh, what have you got there? That's a weird-looking attack style. Anyways, oh, wow, you took literally, like, two hits. And later. Ooh, that was a good... Oh, he dodged out of the way. I thought I got him. Alright, well, that was only a couple hits, so these guys aren't really all that tough. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, easy, though. 
And good night. Oh, having the black whirlwind is nice. He's got, ooh, thief sense. What have we got here? So, spirit one allows the wielder to detect traps. Okay. Anything worth getting rid of for it, though? Not really. Not at this point in time, but we'll hold on to it. There's probably going to be a trap. Hey, hey, there is. All right, a flawed monk gem. Again, probably not all that good. Spirit one. Ooh, what, did it, what else did it do? This gem. Oh, that's it. It's just spirit plus one. That doesn't really do really much for us at the moment. Hey, monkeys, what's up? I bet you guys would actually put up a better fight than what I just went against there. Like, that wasn't even anything. All right, do you, are you a trap? Ooh, dragon powder, huh? All right, what's that for? It's a quest item. Like, you can't actually utilize it for anything else besides a quest. 95 silver. What else we got here? 121 silver. I can't walk over the bones. And let's actually just go here and get ourselves full health. Spirit. And let's go. Alrighty, so it's a lot of green ghosts. Anyways, what up, rat? Alright, this guy obviously doesn't want to fight. Wait, stop! You hit me none, okay? Okay. Let me spend. Let demon help you, yes? You look a little creepy, but you sound adorable. Sure, go ahead and tell me. You seem innocent enough. Yeah, tell me what you know. You're cute. You want to come with me? I don't. I don't have any ducks. What gem? What are you even talking about? Sure, why not? Gem sounds good. Tell me where the gem is. So on the other end of the wall is a gem. So I'll use them to blow up the wall. Hey, I just got some of that. Alright, got it. Okay, thanks. It didn't really do anything for me, though, but I guess knowing that there's a gem is fine. Get out of here. I try. I'm a nice guy, what can I say? And he actually gets the hell out of here and he just vanishes to thin air. But we're going to call it a part right there, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of your evening. We'll catch you all in the next part.